Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery Wisdom Teeth and Implant Center. And I wanted to make a video to kind of um, help explain a common area of confusion that I've seen over my last nine years of practice. And that um, question really is, um, what exactly is a dental implant? So dental implants is a term that is loosely used to basically talk about replacing missing teeth. But what really is a dental implant and how um, does that relate in regards to helping you replace a missing tooth or many multiple uh, missing teeth in your, inside your mouth? So when we're talking about dental implants, and I'm going to use a quick illustration um, of a one single missing tooth right here. But if you have a missing tooth, basically what a dental implant is, is it's a titanium screw that we place within your jawbone. And what it does is that it integrates with your jawbone um, after about three to four months of healing time. And it's almost essentially um, as if it's cemented into your jawbone. It is so um, hard to remove at that point. It is so uh, firmly integrated into your bone that it is um, a great support for putting a crown on top of there, right? So again, a dental implant is just a titanium screw that we place within your jawbone to um, osseointegrate after about three to four months, um, therefore giving a very strong bond to your bone, at which point later on, we then can go on and put a crown. So a crown is basically a tooth replica. It is a prosthesis, it's a prosthetic um, that we basically go in and we can then you know place on top of the implant. Obviously, there's nothing poking out through that dental implant, so what there has to be is a piece called a abutment. That is the interface that goes from the dental implant to the crown, okay? So again, some people get, the, um, get a little confused here. They think that all is the dental implant. Again, the dental implant is just the titanium screw. Um, this metal piece, which is the interface between the implant and the crown is called the abutment. So that metal piece is the abutment, and this is the crown that goes on top of there. And so dental implants are great because they're a very non-invasive way to basically replicate um, a missing tooth. Um, patients, I don't have any, uh, any dental implants in my mouth. I place thousands of patients, but they always say that it's, um, it almost feels natural. It's like having their own natural teeth again. So again, the dental implant is a titanium screw, the titanium post that we place within your jawbone and it is the anchorage upon which we are going to place a prosthesis on top. So um, what I, I wanted to, you know, I hope to not lose you here, but I want to go online here real quick and kind of show you um, what exactly is a prosthesis. So a prosthesis here is, um, you know, a, a quick definition is an artificial body part such as a leg, a heart, or a breast implant in this case. But um, what I love here is that they have a photo of a actual prosthesis uh, replicating your teeth and your gums. And so this is uh, supposed to be for your lower jaw. And what I have, I'm going to zoom back here to me on the webcam. And so what I'll be able to show you here on this model is that we have an all on four prosthesis here for the lower. And what we have is four dental implants. We see one, two, three. Four. Again, these are the dental implants, the titanium screws that we place into your jawbone, which then become osseointegrated after about three to four months. Once that heals, these implants are firmly attached to your bone. So they are, at that point, virtually impossible to remove unless I try to drill them out. Because it has such great anchorage, what we're then able to do is we're able to put this one single unit prosthesis and screw that into those dental implants. So I like to tell patients, these dental implants are the foundation upon which this prosthesis, this artificial piece replicating your teeth and your gums is then screwed into these implants. As you see, this is not removable. So this is not dentures where I can take them in and out. This has to be specifically be removed by your dentist or your dental surgeon. So as you can see, maybe through the top there, um, you can see the, the four access holes upon which we put tiny little, what we call prosthetic screws that are screwed within into your dental implants, okay? So dental implants are used in this case for an all on four prosthesis, okay? Now another application that we see here is, I see two dental implants right there on the upper jaw, right? So these two dental implants right there, these two dental implants are used 
to basically replace a three unit bridge. So this is what we call a dental implant bridge. We have two implants anchoring one, two, three teeth into the jawbone, right? Or into the, you know, to replicate those three missing teeth. So again, two implants in your jawbone are able to replace three missing teeth. Now on the front, we have one single dental implant right there, and it is able to then anchor in that one single crown. And you can't see it between here is the abutment piece. So the abutment piece, people will sit there and they'll, they'll ask me, can you see the abutment? Well, you, you can't see the abutment. Just like in this model, you can't see the abutment, right? All you see is the crown. And that's the beauty of the dental implant. We're not going to be able to see your titanium screw showing through your gums or anything like that. We don't see the abutment piece. We just see the, the, the crown on top of there, okay? So I also wanted to show you um, some photos here and um, you know, just some real life examples on some of our patients and how dental implants are used. Okay, so this patient, we might sit there and say, well, what did we, what did we do on this patient? Well, if you examine her before, you can see that she had only four teeth here, but if we reflect her gums back, her, cheek, her lips back, we can see actually she had five teeth up here, but she had a lot of missing teeth. And so she wanted to get a solution where we were able to replace all her teeth as we did on that all on four prosthesis I was showing you about a few minutes ago. So when we placed four implants up in her jawbone, we were then able to anchor in this prosthesis, which looks very natural. So these teeth don't come in or out. They're fixated within her mouth. They feel natural. She's able to speak properly with them. She's able to eat again. So it's just a, um, a great affordable solution. Um, again, this was a all in four prosthesis for her. So we were able to use four implants to anchor in the full arch prosthesis, okay? Now again, we have different types of prostheses. So this is also another former patient of ours. And you might sit there and ask, well, what did we do on her? Well. When you look at her before, you could see that she had a missing tooth here. So we placed a dental implant there. And what we were able to do is we replace that missing tooth with a dental implant and it looks very natural. And as I illustrated before, we're not able to see any of the titanium screw or the abutment showing through. So this is again a very um, non-invasive way of replacing her natural teeth. And I say non-invasive because we're not shaving down the adjacent teeth to do a bridge, uh, which might have a limited lifespan and be an investment of money, which might be good in the short run, but causes a lot more problems down the road. So hopefully this quick little video um, can illustrate to patients how we can use dental implants in many different applications to whether it replace one single tooth, whether we use like maybe two implants, three implants to um, anchor be the anchors for multiple teeth for a dental implant bridge or to also place you know maybe four to six implants to be able to do a full arch prosthesis as we see in this lower um, example so um, if you have any questions please come on by for a consultation and we'll be more than happy to do a complimentary um, 3d scan on you and a um, complimentary consultation to kind of go over your options to see if you are a candidate, um, and if you are a candidate for dental implants to see which option might be the best for you.